welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney, and today we are making a holiday charcuterie, charcuterie, I don't know, charcuterie board table, if that's how you say it. But basically what you've been seeing on Pinterest, and I'm so excited, I got this new dining room table yesterday, and it actually seats 10 people, so I'm really excited about it. And today is my best friend's birthday, so I decided to do a big old snack board. So I have an assortment of meat and cheeses and snacks and desserts and all kinds of good stuff, so I'm gonna put that together here, and I'm just gonna walk you guys through how I do it so you can make it for your upcoming holiday. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so this paper is actually from Amazon, and I got a huge roll that will last me probably years. So um, I will link that below so you guys can have it. And I actually put parchment paper underneath so any oils wouldn't bleed through. So the tip to making this a holiday themed board is having cute little knickknacks like this little guy and just placing it on the paper. I have a cake stand with some little um, faux trees from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just putting that all throughout my paper as well as a cutting board. I'm gonna be adding some candles for some height. I think it's really pretty and looks really nice when the lights are turned off too. I think it's perfect to add a red wine for that Christmas spirit, and it just looks really pretty on the table. Next, I'm taking some dips, and I'm just kind of putting those all around the table. Next, I'm starting with my largest objects, which are these croissant bread rolls, and then I'm also gonna be using some fruit to start filling up the board. So start with your biggest objects first, like strawberries, grapes, breads, the dips that I've had, different things like that that you would like to fill up your board with. You wanna start with your largest items first. Next, I'm going in with my meats and I'm just keeping it all on this tray just so the oils don't leak through even though I did put that parchment paper on, but I did just buy this table so I did not wanna take the risk. I just, oh, I guess I did want to take the risk. Never mind. I just scattered them throughout the table. And now I'm filling it in with some medium type sized objects like these crackers. And I went through with some pretzels and some other medium sized objects. Now I went in with some smaller things like these pretty chocolates that I got from. Aldi and I just think they're so cute. They're different sizes and different types of chocolates and they fill in really nicely. Totally just use whatever you and your friends like to eat. Um, I liked these little heart um, chocolates that they had from Aldi too. They're so cute. Now I'm going in with more of the desserts. I have muffins and then I also have some chocolate cake that I'll put on this little cake stand. And guys, you're constantly moving things around. Like I moved this dessert platter around a few times just to kind of get it right. Um, it just takes trial and error just to keep playing with it. I think that's what makes it really fun. Now my favorite step of all was actually adding this popcorn. I was scared, I was like, should I just let, add it into the corner? But I decided to sprinkle it on the top and I feel like that gave it this fullness effect and just kind of tied everything together. And I just think it looks so perfect with the popcorn and it added a beautiful texture and just a nice little filler. Next, I cleaned up the table and I got it ready to go. And this is the final product. Okay guys, I just finished up my charcuterie board so I wanna give you guys a little tour. Come look. So I put some chips on the side here and um, kind of floated into the little dessert area. And then I mixed it in with all of this fun assortment of things. I feel like throwing the popcorn kind of like around was the perfect touch to kind of give it that last minute fullness. But that is that. And this is kind of what I came up with. I think what makes it a holiday themed board is having, I always think like a red wine because of Christmas. And then just throwing in these little knickknacks like the house and the deer and the trees and things like that is kind of how you make it suitable for um, the holiday. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Christmas videos. I have so many fun things coming up on this channel, so make sure to watch and don't miss out on another fun Christmas video. Okay guys, see you later, bye.